What's up, everybody? It's your boy Bruce B. here. Today we're in Columbus, Georgia, at the grave site of Dr. John uh, Pemberton. He's uh, the founder of Coca Cola. When he, he was in the Civil War and he was injured and became addicted to morphine, he started experimenting with other pain relievers that weren't based, morphine based. Um, he used cocaine mixed with caffeine and alcohol. It wasn't crazy at the time because most of the tonics and elixirs had one or all three of those. His original recipe was cocoa leaves and cola nuts mixed with wine and um, he called it the Pember Pemberton French Wine Cola. Just as he was trying to market it, um, Georgia was on the verge of prohibition so he took the wine out but left the syrup. He eventually took out the cocaine landing on the recipe that would be the foundation of coca-cola but sadly with or without the cocaine he wasn't able to conquer his morphine habit at the end of his life he was still an addict and forced to sell his formula and most of his shares of the company he died in 1950 or not 19 he died when he was 57 in Atlanta and was transported back here to Columbus and he's buried here in Linwood Cemetery so yeah, just a little uh, little piece of history here, Coca-Cola history. I uh, just wanted to bring it to you guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you like the video. Um, click, click, share, like, subscribe, and I uh, hope to bring you guys some more videos soon. And this is a pretty cool cemetery, and I wish I had time to look around more. There's a lot of old stuff here. But maybe I can come back another time and find some more cool stuff here. But, yep, yeah, there's John Pemberton, person who made Coca-Cola. Alright, we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe.